the videographer. Hey there, viewers, and welcome back to the South Main Auto Channel. I screwed up my whole intro. Uh, <laughs> we got the Civic. Uh, you guys seen in the last video our numbers. High tech around here, we use four minutes. But our compression numbers are as followed 80, 60, 125, 175, which brings about the question as to where our compression has gone. And that's what we're going to do now. Is we're going to use a leak down tester and see uh, where it's going. So, intake valve, exhaust valve. Uh, cylinder to cylinder. I guess I always forget about that one and out uh, the crankcase. So those are our options I've got the very lovely Mrs. O uh, To bar the engine over for us um, You know, we're gonna have to pull the valve cover off this thing probably anyways But I figured she could come out crank it over if we can tell it's coming up on a compression stroke uh, Where the valves are closed Then we'll do a little leak down and I've got the Little donger off the air cleaner there, so we can hear if it's coming out the. That technical term. It is. It is. Is okay. it the donger? If you call it out Honda, I don't need a little donger for the air cleaner. What you get? But at any rate, uh, we'll be able to listen in the oil cap, see if it's coming out the crankcase, out the throttle body, out the tailpipe, and then out the other spark plug hole, if that's where it's coming. So, yeah, let's get started. Let's get started. Yeah, way to be motivational. Way to build the people up. All right, let's see. Can't see crap out here. This thing. It's really loud on the camera when you do that. So annoying. That's better. Huh? The light's better. Yeah, because it's more focused. Focusy. Oh, oh, love that. Oh, you got sparkly things here, guys. Today, so sparkly. If I came home with sparkles all over me. What? Don't come home. It means that's making you a card. Okay. Crank it over here, Mrs. O. Whoa! Go back the other way. Keep going, keep going. Oops, not really. Now go the other way. Listen, this song has got such crappy compression. I can't tell if you're on a compression stroke. Okay, ready? Okay, go for it. Okay, whoops. Alright, so we're on a compression stroke on numero uno for our Spanish speaking audience. <laughs> oh, don't try anything else because you don't want to like. That's the only thing I know. <laughs> so we're going to put some air to her. You hear that? Yes. <laughs> I don't think that's really what I wanted to hear. So we, I think we just uh, crossed option number four. Let me uh, move the camera here. Move the map guy to show up. Now the phone's ringing. Freaking video shot now. Whoop! That escalated quickly. Phone ringing. About five people walked in. All right. So let's see. I think this one is leaking in here. Oh, she was she was gurgling pretty good. <laughs> Let's put some air back to this thing. <laughs> yeah. We got the camera down here. All right. So this cylinder has well, we don't even have roped on our PSI yet, but let's see. We got about what 85 percent blow by. I don't know if you guys can hear it. We'll go like this, we'll plug it with my finger for a little bit. So that's where that compression's going. Plus, can I get all the throttle here? Plus, it's leaking out the intake. How come every time we do a video, this place turns into a madhouse? That's the number one. Uh, intake valve, of course, leaking into the coolant. 
we'll go on to number two here. I didn't check through the leak head to head, I figured that's good enough. <laughs> we'll get Mrs. O back out here when she gets off the phone. Crank this over, get both valves closed, uh, see where this is going. Um, all right, before I get too excited, we'll go back on number one, make sure it's not leaking out of the oil cap. Got such a, such a big leak other places. I think it's really, really bad there. Just a tiny bit of blow by into the crankcase, which you know naturally you're gonna have some. Well, at least it's uh, you know not blow drying your hair with it. So what I did there is I just plugged the uh, fresh air side of the valve cover, you know, right here where it goes into the intake, and then just was seeing what was coming out of the dipstick, you know, very, very little. <clears throat> uh, so that's good. On to number two. Ready? Huh? Alright. Okay. Well, okay. Ready? Make sure we're on the right way. Yep. So. That one is really bad. It's blowing out the radiator, intake valve, tiny bit of the crankcase. Alright, go ahead and crank her over. Let's be quick about it. Whoa! Whoa! Back up. Wait, can I keep going around? Nope. I gotta go back. Yep. I mean, you could, but... <laughs> Shimon! I am! Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Okay, I'll go the other way. Oh, stop right there. Stop right there. Don't move. You know, somebody, somebody in the video, they're gonna go bananas. Because you're cranking the engine backwards. Oh. They get all excited about that kind of stuff. Well, it's your engine, so do what you want. That's right, whatever, dude. All right, so we've got uh, 80 some percent blow by here. Again, it's coming out of the radiator. It's also coming out of the number one spark plug hole. Let me show you. So we'll go to the radiator first. So this old girl's just kind of leaking everywhere. She's on a real gym. Let's see if it's so. See if it's teeny tiny bit in the crankcase. Not super worried. The head gasket must be severely blown or the head's cracked. Something like that. Not supposed to have compression in there, fella. Two worst cylinders, so head gaskets blown cylinder to cylinder. There's something there about so We're not gonna get real technical. This is low tech time. Right? You mean you don't have to use one of those fancy ten thousand dollar scan tools? Yeah, that's what people say. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cranker. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
stop, 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 stop right there. Right, so that's compression on that cylinder. This one had 125 PSI, number three. Make sure that thing, you might want to hang on to that ratchet. We're getting into some better cylinders. We'll what put does that air, mean? What, what are we you going to do? It may swing around and cut you in the shins. How about I just not stand next to it? How about you do when we get to oh, see that, yeah. huh? <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Would have made a sweet video. No, it must be open. Let me rotate this engine a little bit. This is though we didn't want to hang on to the bar. Well, I can't take valve opening. There she goes. Oh, she tight. Moderate. We got moderate. All right. Come here, Mrs. Uh, you have to hang on to it. Come on, hang on to it. Uh, hold it, hold it up. Yeah, you're going to have to push it. Oh, I'm pushing it? Just hold it. Okay. Got it? I got it. Don't move. <laughs> Can I like fly up? Well, it's I'm already. You're, yeah. fa you're fatiguing? No. <laughs> just so no. I hear yeah, it. I hear it. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, we got the little guy stuck in there. My finger is just perfect for. Uh, <laughs> Then you got big fat fingers. <laughs> Do that one a little. Hear it? I hear it. What's that mean? What's that? What's that mean? So it's blowing. Ooh, man, I'm looking at my finger sight. It's blowing cylinder to cylinder. Uh, this one, number three. Yup. A little bit out of the crankcase. A lot out of the intake. Woo! Easy. Yeah. And uh, we're at 55% uh, blow by. Ready? Gonna take the tension off. Yes. Huh? I'm ready. How's that feel? Oh, oh that does not help my neck. I thought it was getting better. There ain't no time for babies in the shop. Well, I don't usually, I'm not usually out in the shop, so. All right, on to number four. So that one's leaking cylinder to cylinder out the intake. All right, there. Cranker. Whoops. Stop. Stop. Right here? Yes. Okay. You got to hang on to her now. She's oh, going to give you a little push. This one's got even more? Oh, yeah. Seriously, <laughs> I give you, you got a freaking 24 inch long ratchet. I know, but like. Stop whining. Yeah. Hang on. Hang on, Jordan. I'm hanging, I'm hanging. You okay? Is she good? Ah! Oh, she's gonna pick you up. You got it? I don't know. All right, we, what I'll, happens if I let go? It's only 70 pounds per square inch. What happens if I let go? Don't let go. Are you ready? You good? I'm gonna put a little pressure on it. I don't know. I've never done this. Don't move. Okay, so this cylinder's got 15% blow by. This, oh is, this is those over there shaking. <laughs> let me back her off a little. All right? <laughs> All right, hang on to it. Okay, let it go for a minute. Okay, yeah, push, 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 push. Why can't I push, use push. the other hand? Okay. Push, push, push. Keep going, push, push. Whoa, stop right there. You ready? Mm -hmm. You got some good leverage? I'm good. Don't let that go. It'll come up and smack her in the teeth. I know. Oh, man. I'm just doing it for fun. Now. You're a brat. <laughs> All right. I'm going to let this go just no, for fun. Might. Yeah, it's broke. A little off crankcase. This is scientific. It doesn't look scientific with your finger. <laughs> right my <laughs> so we got a little bit of cylinder, cylinder naturally. Alright. Oh, this is what we're getting. Phone's ringing. ringing. Alright. Here you go. <laughs> That's just how it works in the TV business. Take four. Pretty sure it's three. Is it three? I don't know. We're just retaking it. Uh, the Civic. She. <laughs> it's broke. <laughs> it's broke. <laughs> Anyhow, it's broke. It's blown cylinder to cylinder, uh, which, as I've already mentioned in take one and two, <laughs> before Mrs. All lost her mind here, uh, that you know it's blown cylinder to cylinder. It's leaking out the intake, which doesn't necessarily mean it's the intake valve, because while well, cylinder one is on compression, cylinder number two may have an intake valve open. It's leaking cylinder to cylinder out the other valve, out the throttle body. But the main, uh, the main one, <laughs> I 
The main, the main point, reason why we wanted to do this is to make sure that it wasn't severely blowing out the crankcase. Which, right. Which we proved by with, your finger. with our finger over the the hole where the dipstick goes. Mrs. O, you really you take it right out of me. Okay. I can't even talk to the people. What are you doing with the freaking apples? I'm waiting. Eat my breakfast. You said That's your breakfast? Are you kidding me? No, I'm gonna have them with peanut butter. Alright. Anyhow, I think at this point we can justify pulling the head and we know that it's not a you know a hole through the piston, which I didn't suspect it was. But we could also pull the head and find out that the cross hatch and the cylinder's gone from overheating and scuffing on the cylinder walls and we don't know. We don't really know anything. Do <laughs> what what did you just figure out? Because you just said you didn't know how much. We figured happens. out that it's not major. It seems pretty major. It's not that major. <laughs> it could have a cracked head. We don't know. It's obviously got a head gasket blown between the cylinders, but it also could have, you know, a crack. Come back the crack. You know how bad the crack is, Mrs. O. Mm -hmm. We don't want any crack. So, but at this point, we'll end this video because it's getting too chaotic here. And uh, got to go do something. Got to make some funds. Government jobs don't pay the bills, do they? Right. Which Do you remember how long my tractor sat in this bay? You know how Months. overdue my uh, van is for, for a what? time belt change? It doesn't matter. You're at 105000 Damn. Well. Don't break it. I didn't. More. It, it hit my car. I don't want to touch my car. Good thing I wasn't a twirler in school. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Uh, anyhow, your timing belt's good to at least 200,000. I've seen it. <laughs> the people are here. Blend. That's it, guys. Okay, yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs>